Hi, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to change the screen on an HP ZBook Studio Gen 3 laptop. We've replaced a few here recently and thought we'd put together a video to show you how to do it just in case you need to. When you get a laptop that will power up but you don't get any image to the display, there are certain other things you can do, but if you've assumed or got to the point in your troubleshooting that it's the screen, here is how you change the screen. Okay, again, you turn it on, you see the lights to the keyboard, but no power to the screen. So, we're going to show you how to change the screen. So, the first thing we're going to do is unplug it. And we're going to remove the retaining ring that goes around the display. Now, it just pulls off. There's no fasteners. We've already had this particular one off once, so it's going to come off a lot easier probably than yours. But the point is, it does just pry off. It's held with some glue residue that's around the edge of the screen. Uh, it will come off. Just pry on it. If you're having any trouble, just give it a little extra. It actually won't hurt if you break the screen. Okay, now once you get that off, it exposes the four fastening screws. So, you remove those four screws. Once you've removed those four screws, the screen part will fall into your hand like that. Now it's only held on by the electrical connector located right there. To remove the electrical connector, there's a piece of tape over it that you pry up. And then the connector itself, you grab a hold of the little connecting bracket and pull up on it. And there you go. The screen's out. That simple. Now you take the new screen and reverse this process. First thing you're going to need to do is put that electrical connector. Put that on. A little tricky to do with one hand, so we're going to use both hands. You just line it up, and once you've got it lined up, it'll push right on. Don't force it. When you got it lined up, it'll go. And then you can see that it's pushed in, and you put the tape back over it. Now you go ahead, and you've got it uh, hooked back up electrically. So we're going to plug it in and test it just to make sure it works. So, here we go. We turn it on and voila, image to the screen. So now that we know that it works, we're going to turn power off, replace that retaining. Oh, we're going to put in the four assembly screws first that we removed around the perimeter. So it's a pretty straightforward process. Just four screws and a retaining ring and electrical connector. Not too intimidating. Again, that retaining ring is the one thing that I would caution you if it's coming off hard. It's not that you're doing something wrong. It's just that it's a little bit of touchy glue. Be careful with it and pry it off. Ours is a little easier because we'd already had this one off. Now, once you've got the four fasteners properly into the screen assembly then you'll be ready to take this retaining ring and start at the bottom get that electrical connector un underneath the, re the channel there on the bottom of it and then using your thumbs move upward and then across and it'll snap and stick into place and you can see it's on it's that easy that's it fred from the laptop barn if you enjoyed us like us subscribe to our channel thanks Control.